Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from the main channel and today we're going to show you how to use Windows Live Movie Maker for Windows 8.1. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give you a rundown on how these features work. So how to add your videos. So you can click here to browse for videos and photos or you can click up here to add videos and photos yourself. So we're going to click here to browse and then we're going to use Let's use a picture. We're going to use Kevin Bacon made out of bacon as one picture. Then we're going to add a sample video. And there we go. And then Movie Maker will basically prepare your files, making them easier to edit, as it says here. It takes a few minutes. So then we first start off with our Kevin Bacon Bacon picture. Yeah. Kevin Bacon was made out of bacon, lots of bacon, 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 bacon. Okay, anyways, what you would do, so what you do, if you want to split up a clip, let's say you want to split up this portion of Kevin Bacon, bacon, you right click on Kevin Bacon, bacon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't help myself saying it. You just go set endpoint here. This is just for a photo, so it doesn't have split, so you can set the endpoint there. So this is technically splitting a photo, setting an endpoint for it. But here, let's say I want to go through my points here and then <laughs> my face is on fire. Isn't that, that's pretty sick. I'll make a tutorial on how to do a flaming face effect later on. So let's just say I'm, <laughs> I'm toasty. So what I want to do is you right click on the clip and then you can split it. You can split it up and you can delete the portion that you split up and then that's how it goes. It keeps continuing like this. And then you can move them around. You can rearrange them and move them around. You can also rotate it. Then you can set the music as well. You can add music if you like but you don't have to. And then what it automatically does here is that it automatically adds titles and it goes straight to your clips and then it goes right to the movie but you can set those preferences later on so we're gonna start a new project then we'll do the same thing here so they've made it easier this time around when you want to add new projects or import movies so the next thing we'll do is we'll add a title then you can edit the title right here. And then you can click out. Then it automatically plays. But you can also drag a transition. You can go and select the transition you want. Then it automatically applies. Like this. Simple fade. And then you can preview it before you apply it. So there's scroll, swing down zoom in standard we can apply that and then for this we can add a caption to it I'm very angry and then you can expand the text you can move the text here and then you can right click on this point here I think you can drag it all the way back now you can drag that timeline then you can drag this point and then for the text tools, you can set the start time here. So the start time here, then the text duration is only three seconds. So the text only appears for a second, and then it's gone. So that is that's just that's how you do it. Now you've seen a few features. You've seen what I've done. If I went too fast, then we'll go back and review it. What we did was. We created a new project, imported a video, added effects, and then transitions. So that is how you essentially start your own movie. Then you can scroll this back. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the home tab and see what's new. Add videos, add music. Let's say you want to add music to a point. So you go here, then you click add music add music to current point then we'll go 
voice recording. And then the voice recording will play. <clears throat> like this. I have a pass. Your voice recording will play at that point. And then you can go from there. But then you can also go and right click the sound file. And you can set the end point here so it ends right there. So you could only have it play at that point and then stop. So this is the start. And then what you set was the end. So that's how you do it. That's how you can set it so that you can have music play at that point. And then if it reaches a certain point and you want to end it, you simply right click and set end point. Nothing to it. And then if you feel you've made a mistake, you press Control Z on a Windows keyboard or Command Z or whatever command you use, whatever computer or toaster that you have, and you can do that. Okay. You can also incorporate your webcam this time around. This other feature wasn't included in the previous Movie Maker, but it is now. If you have an integrated webcam, it will. Then you can also record narration. You can add sounds. You can add a sound here. And then it goes from there. <clears throat> And then that's your music playing there. It's really awesome. And then you can go snapshot, where you can get a snapshot of one of your favorite pictures. It has to be PNG. Won't work for any other format in this, apparently. And then you can go set the credits. So you can go set the credits, soundtrack. Let's just say bye bye copyright. So the soundtrack will be there. And then the soundtrack provided is from that. That's like at the end, like when, when you apply the credits. And then there's animation. Oh, I came out of nowhere. So you can apply the animations. And then that's how it ends. And then you can apply a transition by clicking a scene, clicking the transition. You, it previews it before you apply it, which is pretty nice. So then, if you want to go the open door transition, or cinematic fade, or crossfade, or blur, or no transition, you can do that too. And then, there's pan and zoom, and you can apply it to all as well if you'd like, if you click here. Let's go apply to all. And then it'll apply to all the videos. So. <clears throat> so all the transitions will apply. Like if you scroll through here and you keep going, and then the transition will go through. It's like crazy techno fire. Anyways, it previews each transition when you hover over. So that's like the end transition. The beginning transition, we can go back here and then we can have it preview. <clears throat> then it crossfades. And then there's visual effects where you can put visual effects on the video. So that's, that's the threshold. We'll just we'll just take this, we'll just remove this music. And then we'll remove that sound just to show you what you can do. You can apply a posterize, edge detection. A blur, threshold, black and white, black and white orange filter, black and white red, black and white yellow, and there's cyan tone, sepia tone, and they have a whole lot of other effects too. In fact, there's quite a bit in this version of Windows Movie Maker and Windows 8 now. I think they brought back a lot of key things here. 3D Ripple. Oh, that's new. I didn't see this one before. Then there's Fade from Black, Fade from White, Fade Out to Black. And then there's Fade Out to White, Hue, Pixelate, Spin 360, and the Warp. Huh. Fascinating. And then we can apply to All, and then Soundtrack Plays, and then you go Project, 
and then they have this emphasis you can mix the audio where you can emphasize the video emphasize music make the music louder than the video sound or narration then you can make the narration louder than the video sound or you can set no emphasis and then here you can go fit to music if you have music playing and then you can set the aspect from widescreen like this to 4.3 or you can have it set to widescreen because that's the standard nowadays. So this is only if you have Windows 8.1. You may have these features as well if you have Windows 7, but I'm not too certain. So we're going to go View, and then you can see Waveforms. It'll allow you to preview the waveforms here, so you can preview full screen as well. And then you can press Escape. <clears throat> then it goes out of that. And then you go Thumbnail Size, Medium, Extra Small, small, medium, large, extra large. And then you can go zoom in, zoom out, or you can just reset everything. And then the edit, and then there's the background color. You can set the background color for the background here. And then the duration, you can set up to one second. Or you could go seven seconds and that'll be cool too. Then there's a fade in, slow fade in, fast fade out, that sort of thing. So it, this basically is faster than the text here. So you can move the text over here and then drag it like this so that it lines up. And then you can also do automatic and then you can go more colors then you can set custom colors and then you go here and then you can also go and split here so the edit tab is where you can split and the trim tool you can go start point you can set the start point from here to here And then you can go save trim or cancel. So we're going to go cancel. And then you can set the speed to whatever you want. So this is basically 64 speed. So basically you'll be seeing this in a 22 second duration speed at 64 times. Way too fast. So then what you do is you go back and then you set it back to one time speed. And then, yeah, because that's just way too fast. 64x, way too fast. Unless you want to do like a funny Benny Hill like montage and you can set it that fast. And then there's also video stabilization where you can apply stabilization to videos. There's anti shake, anti shake, and wobble correction low, anti shake, wobble correction high. So it will fix the shakiness of video. Now, let's see if we can find a video that has some shakiness in it. But since my videos are webcams, it'll be hard to find because I don't have shaky stuff. So it'll be pretty tough to find something that's shaky like that. Uh, no, because I don't have anything shaky, so I can't demonstrate that to you. So, when you're all done, it only has a few tabs here. You go File, and then you can save the project. Now, it saves it as a movie maker project. It doesn't save it as the actual movie. So I'll show you how to save an actual movie. So we're going to save this as my movie. And to save the whole movie, you would go publish. You can go to publish movie to OneDrive, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, Groups. You can add a plugin or manage your services. And then you can go save movie. And then it'll give you recommended setting. High definition display for computer, for email, Android, Apple phone, feature phone, Windows phone, Zoom HD, 1080p for tablet, website, audio, and then you can also create your own custom setting. So we're going to go and create custom setting and then you can save the custom setting as a certain name. Then you can name it whatever you want. Then you can set the bit rate and frame rate. And then the audio format for high quality audio and then 58 megabytes a minute per video. 
So we're going to show you how to import a video right now. So once you're done everything, we're going to go save movie, and then for high definition display, and then it'll save it as a type WMV or MPEG-4. So we're going to just save it as MPEG-4. So we're going to go Flaming Man, or type in whatever name you want, then you go save, then it'll start the saving movie step. It's step one of one, where it saves the whole movie, gives you a percentage bar, then once the percentage bar is all the way there, it completes. So you can play the movies back on Windows Media Player or whatever computer you have. WMVs, I don't know if they play on Macs, but usually there is a compatibility issue with Macs and WMVs. Usually we need a converter to convert the WMVs to that, and it gives you a sound to let you know that your video file is done. So it lets you know that your file is done. You can play your file now or open the folder. So you can go open the folder, and then you double click on your video. It plays. There you go. So this is the movie that you made in Windows Live Movie Maker from what you just did. Then we just added our transitions and everything. There's my cool effects cool effects happening here so then basically that just ends it there and then that's your movie boom so that's how the movies made and then we can do that so you can create pretty good movies on here and it imports it properly and you can use any of these services and you can also sign in using your Windows Live account or your Microsoft account and then it integrates everything so that is it Essentially, this was just a quick run through of Windows Movie Maker on this main channel. I also have a video on how to fully use Windows Movie Maker on my D22 Responses channel. So you can click the annotation and also the link in the description below to peruse that. So that's it, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video. Get Field for Life. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Get Field for Life. God bless you.